Let's bring in Manu Raju. He's over on Capitol Hill. We have word out of the House Judiciary Committee of a major move to get more disclosure from the Mueller probe concerning Mr. Mueller himself. Manu, thank you, for, uh, brother, for being on Quick Watch like this. What have we learned? Yeah, major news here involving Robert Mueller, the special counsel, and efforts to get him to testify on Capitol Hill. Just moments ago, the House Intelligence Committee and the House Judiciary Committee announced they have agreed, the special counsel has agreed to appear in public on July 17th in an open session to testify about the, what he found. It was a part of his two-year investigation into Russian interference as well as potential obstruction of justice in the White House. Now, they say in this letter, both the chairman of this committee, of the House Judiciary Committee, Jerry Nadler, and the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, that they actually have subpoenaed Bob Mueller and that he has agreed to testify under subpoena. Now, what they say uh, in this letter, Chris, is that they, they said that they understand, this is a letter that they wrote uh, to to, uh, the special counsel saying that we under further understand there are certain sensitivities associated with your open testimony, and they're talking about particular several criminal investigations that are ongoing, and there are certain things that he will not say. In the, and he's, he's, of course, Mueller has said publicly that he says his work speaks for itself and does not want to speak about this further, but they say this, nevertheless, the American public deserves to hear directly from you about your investigation and conclusions. We will work with you to address legitimate concerns about preserving the integrity of your work. We expect that you will appear before our committees as scheduled. So they have agreed, uh, they say Mueller has agreed to a July 17th hearing okay. in an open session. And we know, Chris, that the Mueller team has fought this idea of coming in public. Mueller yes. has wanted to go behind closed doors. But now the Democrats have said, this is it. July 17th, market calendars, a huge day in this investigation. We'll see what Robert Mueller ultimately reveals on Capitol Hill. I think we have learned that behind closed doors does not resonate with the American people. The trust just isn't there. When it comes to Bob Mueller, he is the man that people need to hear from most. So just so we're clear, they subpoenaed him. It seemed to push the process. He, in return, agreed he will not fight the subpoena. Yes, that's exactly what it seems like. There's been discussions about what, what, under what conditions would he appear. They've discussed all sorts of okay. possibilities. He'd go behind closed doors for part of it, maybe just deliver an, open state, an opening statement publicly and answer questions behind closed doors. Democrats did not want to go for that. So it appears what they call a friendly subpoena, issuing a subpoena to compel his testimony. That's the only way he would agree. And we'll see, Chris, too, if the White House takes any steps to prevent what Mueller can say before this committee, as they've done with other people who have testified. I don't think they have the same reach. They, he he they had no not. connection to the they White not. House. Here is the big factor, though, Manu, to, to your question, which is an intelligent one. Is Bob Mueller still working for the Department of Justice right now? He's not. He's, he's not. He's no longer so an employee he's gone, of the Justice Department. So he's gone. 100% gone. There, yeah, are, there are no can, tentacles on him. Because that's, that's big. That is big. And Look, they, we, we have seen what they have done to other former officials, such right. as Don McGahn, Hope Hicks. They've stepped in f and said that he cannot discuss these communications with the president. Now, can he discuss what they interviewed Hope right. Hicks about? Can he discuss what they interviewed Don McGahn about? Other fact witnesses yes. who have not come to Capitol Hill. Yeah, Will he can. be able to say that? He can. Will the White House try to block that? He can. Uh, they can try to block, you know, trying and succeeding are two very different things. He's not a White House official. He did not work for the president. There was no privilege. Uh, the idea of things being privileged under the DOJ, I don't understand the application of that in this context. And to the point of context, Mano, here's the deal. Mr. Mueller has said, hey, the report ipsa dixit. In Latin, that means it speaks for itself. I'm not going to go beyond it. But the context of how they came to those conclusions is contained in the report and can be articulated because remember, Manu, you know, most of us are like me, not you. We're not smart enough to have read and processed the report the way you did. So to hear from Mr. Mueller say, here's what we found, here's what it was based on, look at what he did in just those 10 minutes. The impact could be profound. It absolutely could, especially if he starts to detail mm. exactly what was in the report. People start to connect and understand what he found, whether it's the 10 episodes of potential obstruction of justice, the mm -hmm. extensive Russian interference campaign. But, Chris, it's also a risk for Democrats. If Mueller slips in any way, does not per come across as a compelling witness, that could also undercut True. what the Democrats are trying to portray in this report as well. So this is a, a high-stakes hearing that everybody will be hanging on 
on every word, and probably one reason why the special counsel has been reticent about going public because he says the report speaks for himself. But it'll be different under questioning from members of Congress from two committees. Mm. A lot of members will have questions to be asked. How Mueller will answer them, of course, is altogether a different question. And he's going to take a lot of friendly fire from people in his own party because he now represents a potential threat to this president. Manu Raju, big news on our watch. Thank you for breaking it down. Appreciate it.